Hello grade 12s. Compound angle identities are split into two groups, namely the compound angle formulas and the double angle formulas. In this lesson, we focus on the double angle formulas and use them to simplify expressions and to prove identities. Let's have a look at the formulas. The double angle identity for sine is sine 2a equals 2 multiplied by sine a multiplied by cos a. When working with the double angle identities, cos 2 theta, there are three options to choose from. It is useful to look at what you are trying to prove in order for you to select the most useful option. If your expression involves sine theta and cos theta, use the formula cos 2 theta is equal to cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. If your expression involves sine theta only, then use cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Similarly, for an expression involving cos theta, use cos 2 theta equal to 2 cos squared theta minus 1. This will take a bit of practice to get used to, so let's take a look at a few examples where we use these double angle formulas. Prove that sine 2 theta over 1 plus cos 2 theta is equal to tan theta. Remember that we must always indicate with which side of the equation we are working with. In this case, we will start with the left-hand side. We use our identities and find that the left-hand side is equal to 2 multiplied by sine theta times by cos theta over 1 plus 2 cos squared theta minus 1. We simplify this to get 2 sine theta times cos theta over 2 cos squared theta. Now we can cancel common factors in the numerator and denominator. This gives us sine theta over cos theta. This is equal to tan theta. Therefore, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Let's take a look at another example. Why don't you try this one before looking at the solution? Prove that 1 plus sine 2x plus cos 2x is equal to 2 cos x in brackets sine x plus cos x. Once again, we need to work with one side of the equation and prove it equals the other side. Let's start with the left-hand side. Using the double angle identities, the left-hand side becomes 1 plus 2 sine x cos x plus 2 cos squared x minus 1. This simplifies to 2 sine x cos x plus 2 cos squared x. Now let's take out 2 cos x as a common factor. So that we have 2 cos x in brackets sine x plus cos x. Therefore, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned by doing the questions in the Advanced Trigonometry Task video. You'll also be able to learn more about trigonometry on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.